After discussing the scope of group work practice in the children's home and destitute homes, let us discuss the scope of group work in correctional settings. When I say the word correctional settings, it includes prisons, juvenile homes, rehabilitation centers or de-addiction centers. So individuals who are staying in the correctional homes are usually people who have to be mainstreamed into the society, who are going through certain therapeutic processes or uh, serving certain sentences for some of the, you know, maybe the mistakes that they had done in their past life. So when I say the word prisons, it includes uh, prisoners and people who are under trial. So group work practice in a prison setting will be very helpful for uh, those who are staying there as a group worker will bring together people with similar uh, with similar issues they will be brought together they will discuss what they had done and what they could have not done in, in their life could have been different so realization is another process which is uh, done through group work and here the group worker enhances the capacity of individuals to bring about their emotional feelings and to discuss them. As, uh, as group work uh, proceeds, it is not that the, all the group members will be very comfortable to sharing their discussions at the first instance, but in gradual social work group work set, uh, sessions, they will be more comfortable in opening up and discussing their problems. So in the prison setting, it is again a great emotional support, a support system when a person is attached to certain groups. This can be short term or long term groups. They will discuss their issues and all the, all the repentances, whatever they wanted to express to each other, they will, it will be comfortable through the group work setting. And in the juvenile homes, juvenile homes actually include children who are in conflict with law but have not reached 18 years of age. So the youth who are the future of the country, they will, uh, some members around 8 to 10 members can be brought together in the similar way they will discuss their problems and what they could have not done and what, how they could have changed their life and in the future what they are planning. So it gives a kind of motivation and hope for the, uh, for the youth who are living in the juvenile homes to correct their lifestyle and to you know, go back and be mainstreamed into the society and take a new course of life. In the rehabilitation centers or de-addiction centers, there are usually people who are ex uh, you know, addicts or who had been addicted to different substance abuses, abuses or alcohol uh, ad addiction. So they will be uh, together staying in a de-addiction center. Uh, different therapeutic uh, sessions are already conducted in the rehabilitation centers. A group worker takes group therapy there where the person is, uh, you know, where the people are brought together and they are made to discuss and different group activities like role play, uh, recreational activities, then practicing their hobbies, then also uh, doing certain vocational training together and what are the plans for the future. So in the similar way, uh, you know, uh, taking away the attention from the addiction level which they were engaged in and then concentrating on something positive is an important practice and that is why group work is important in a rehabilitation or a de-addiction center. In a home for the elderly, that is elderly home or old age home, whatever you call it, uh, so group work is important here. A uh, person coming to an old age home faces various social and emotional trauma. The person, the elderly person, be it a male or a female, feels very alienated when a person has to come out of the family setup or when the person is, uh, you know, bound to come to an old age home because of losing a particular uh, because losing a life partner or maybe they do not have children or the children are not with them therefore they feel that they are brought into a certain social setup which is not very socially accepted because we know that uh, it is still stigmatized staying in an old age home is still a stigmatized process in our society Therefore, they will feel a lot of emotional trauma, sense of alienation, isolation, and they will feel that they are unwanted by the family members and other issues. 
there might be also financial issues emotional trauma psychological issues uh, then physical inability or certain kind of disabilities physical disabilities can develop for the elderly and it will reduce their sense of self esteem that is why in group work practice the group worker in a old age home setting has to ensure that the person's self respect is enhanced the person feels a sense of worth and also they have a great support system in the old age home to discuss their issues group work practice in the old age homes not only include organizing uh, groups with elderly but it also includes group work processes and group work techniques to be practiced with the caretakers with the people who are engaged in uh, running the particular old age home people who are uh, service providers of the old age home because they also need to be uh, trained and they also need to have a certain session of opening up and discussing the problems and therefore group work in an old age home setting can also be practiced not only with the elderly but also with the service providers group work with vulnerable groups the word vulnerable groups has a huge scope here it will include people who uh, may be groups of people who are uh, abused people who are unemployed people who are you know not able to have access to education people who are uh, under certain kind of uh, emotional trauma or also people who are addicted to certain abusive as abusive uh, things like maybe substance or alcohol but they are not under any de addiction or rehabilitation centers so these are mainly un institutional or non institutional settings where there are people with similar problems but they are in an open setting and but they can be categorized as specific target group or vulnerable groups so here uh, it can be uh, people suppose who are under abuse a, a group of women who have been uh, you know going through domestic violence so such women who suppose they organize they meet up at, at, at through certain social media platform or they meet up through an any non governmental organization or any other welfare organization so they can be brought together a group worker will conduct various therapeutic sessions discussion sessions and different uh, in a group work uh, process there are usually uh, you know uh five to eight sessions which are very important to be done with the similar group or with the same group so that they can uh, in a gradual level they can open up with their feelings and they can come up with their problems so doing group work with vulnerable groups it is important to have around seven to eight sessions because only through through the you know middle and the later stages they are more comfortable with each other and they will identify different Uh, strategies to deal with the problem or for example to seek justice these people who have been you know abused they come together so in order to strategize or to reach to certain objectives they will discuss and they will form certain strategical planning through the different group work sessions the role of a group worker is to uh, negotiate and to you know guide and uh, show them the path how to reach to their objectives a group worker will be someone who is not a member of that particular group but one who mediates or one who coordinates with the different group members and guides them to in the in reaching the particular objectives so group work it at the workplace or an industry setting at the workplace it can include also factory factory setting it can include any it uh, firm setting it can include any production unit or non production unit but it is a commercial setting so at the workplace here it means that people who are workers of uh, of similar occupation are brought together their issues are discussed and first of all they have to consent or they have to identify that yes we have certain problems to discuss and we need the group support here so the group worker will identify members with similar problems and they are brought together and then the uh, and the group formation is done and they it through different sessions of group work the different problems are identified and they strategize 
sometimes at the workplace uh, when a workers union or members of the workers group have problems with the management or have problems with another category of workers in their workplace they are brought together as a unified form and then they can discuss their problem and it can uh, also enhance the collective bargaining process if they think that if they think that their rights are not met then this different uh, processes of bargaining and strategies to reach their rights are planned similar is the case in the industry setting that is mostly in a production unit where uh, there will be different welfare measures there will be statutory and non statutory measures and privileges that should be given by an employer if these rights are not met or suppose there is an injustice which is not directly formally recognized as an injustice it can be discussed and it can be brought about under the group purview and certain strategies have to be placed to deal with the particular problem at the community or rural level uh, there will be different developmental projects or sometimes if developmental projects are not yet sanctioned or not yet planned a group work process will help to identify the problem for example it can be development related it can be infrastructure related it can be uh, dealing with any kind of social evil or social injustice so either in the rural uh, level the and in the urban level, uh, level though the settings are completely different a urban setting will be uh, more of people who have come from different backgrounds but living in a particular community or a geographical area and in the rural area it might be a more dispersed or people who have similar roots of origin so that is what it makes the difference between rural and urban sometimes because of industrialization urbanization and migration in a urban setting people from the same village or the rural background will come and settle in a particular slum or in a particular uh, area of the urban city there we might be various problems related to infrastructure housing then rights related there might be uh, you know land alienation issues and many other things so a group worker the third method of social work is community organization before that a group work and sessions can be organized as something which will help the people who are living in those particular communities that might be urban or rural to come together and to form certain strategies to deal with their issues so a group work is something which is conducted in different sessions today we have discussed about these different settings that is the psychiatric and medical hospital settings the school settings destitute home children's home correctional settings include prisons juvenile homes rehabilitation and de addiction centers home for the elderly or the aged or as we commonly call that old age homes group work with vulnerable groups workplace settings and in industry setting community it can be either rural or urban setting in the curb, uh, in the rural and urban setting uh, the developmental project it might be already implemented or there is a need to plan and implement such a developmental project then the group work will help to bring out the issues to identify the problem to identify the strategies to identify the you know resources that are unutilized so group work session will bring about a lot of information and help in strategizing the developmental process in these kind of community setting so in today's class we have discussed about firstly what is this uh, profession of social work what are the methods of social work there are primary methods of social work there are secondary methods of social work the first one is case work that directly deals with the individual's problems and the social environment the in case work there will be different strategies like directly interacting with the individual talking to his or her family members or the immediate members whom the person is in contact with and bringing about a modification in the social environment so that the individual is able to adjust with the problems 
and the second method primary method of social work is group work that today we have discussed group work focuses on the individual problems but keeping in view the social functioning and the ability to deal with the social environment of the individual that is why group work group work means individuals with similar problems will be brought together and they will discuss and they will form a support system there will be different sessions for example as i told you there might be you know around eight sessions or nine sessions where up to then the group worker will deal with the same members who the group has been formed at the first stage of group formation and the same group will be kept intact and then the person the group worker will coordinate with the different members and uh, in in uh, you know specific intervals of time the group work session will be conducted and then they will be uh, slowly and slowly they will be able to open up and feel connected with each members of the group there are usually long term and short term groups uh, long term groups are those for example the patients groups you know who feel that uh, they have to be more in connection with each other it can be a continuous process short term groups will be for those who are not it may be from the same geographical area and they hardly get a chance to meet up so therefore group work sessions with these uh, uh, people who are living away or apart from each other short term uh, group sessions or group groups are built so that uh, they can be benefited to the maximum level within short span of time since uh, the pandemic uh, we are seeing that online processes are and virtual learning and you know uh, virtual connection is something which is very important and which is possible therefore we will see that group work will take a different form and it is already taking where virtual interaction or bringing together people of the different members of the group which had been earlier constituted or can be newly constituted can stay in touch with each other with different medias for example the social media through whatsapp through any other kind of you know uh, electronic media forms platforms through uh, zoom so through google meet and different different other platforms group work sessions can still be conducted in the virtual mode therefore we see that group work has a huge scope in especially in such times of crisis where people feel isolated and alienated from each other therefore group work is an important method of social work here in the next uh, session we will be discussing about the different techniques and strategies skills skills and the role of a group worker that is necessary in the group work process thank you mm -hmm.